Hello, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm Technical Support Manager within Kenwood covering the UK and Ireland and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a D-type trunking system. D-type trunking means distributed as opposed to C-trunking which is the more normal trunking we have. So D-type trunking, distributed trunking, means that the intelligence for the system is not in the base stations, it's in the terminals. And what that means is that this is a very, very simple set of infrastructure and we are also using the low tier NX1000 radios. So you have NX1200s for VHF and NX1300s for UHF. This is a low cost solution. There's a very small investment. There's no site controllers, no control channel. Uh, but what we do have is ESN checking. So you can be sure that the radios that are on your system are ones that are intended to be there and we have excellent coverage. With Kenwood six and a quarter, uh, as you can see from the chart in front of you, if you look, you'll see that that's about three dB better than DMR. And it's not that RF at six and a quarter uh, goes further. It's that when you go from 25 to 12 and a half and then 12 and a half to six and a quarter, each time you have it, you have the noise. And what that does is it allows the receiver, the signal to noise at the receiver, to be about 3 dB better, which gets you a big increase in range. And this works both on the portables and on the base stations. So you can reduce powers or with the same power, cover a lot more territory. Construction of a system is very, very simple because all you need is a stack of repeaters and you put a small cable between them. Now you can have up to 30 repeaters on a single site and they are daisy chained together. Because the daisy chain is RS422, it means if a base station in the middle of the stack was to fail, the rest will still communicate as expected. Operation of the D-type trunking system couldn't be simpler. From the user's perspective, you simply push PTT. You hear a beep and talk. What actually happens under the hood is all of the radios are sat on one particular base station, their home site. And on that, you'll see that the transmit light is flashing and as that flashes, that's a confirmation to the radios that they are within range of the system. It also carries data about calls that are active. So if a radio is switched on and a call for that radio is active, the radio will automatically join that call. And that means it will move from its home channel to another channel and open its audio. This allows you to have a very, very uh, comprehensive system, very, very simply installed with no control channel no central controller, just literally a line of base stations. The radios fully support everything you would expect. So you have status messages, you have text messaging, individual calls, group calls, everything you would expect. And simply on here, we have an emergency call set up. And if I push the emergency button, you hear that happen. And then we're dropping into a call and all of the other radios are now receiving that even though they're not necessarily part of the same group, they will be dragged onto a particular channel and that call will go through. So how does this work as a trunking system? It's incredibly simple. When you have a call, all of the radios that are collected on the home channel then enter that call. If radios that are on the home channel are not in that call, they don't. When the second user starts a call, that next group of radios will go to the next available channel and so on. In the graphic, we have that go into three channels, but it could equally well be 30. And as the calls are released, the radios will go back to their particular home channel and sit there waiting for the next call until the system is again empty. This is a very efficient way of working because it's a transmission trunk. So every time I push PTT, I get a particular repeater that I use for that PTT press, not a conversation timer. So each time I push PTT, an available resource is used. As soon as I release PTT, that resource goes back in for other people to use. What that means practically is the system is very, very quick at handling calls. Unlike message trunking, where you've got the channel and you keep it, with transmission trunking, you've only got it for the duration of the PTT. That allows many more calls to go on on the system at the same time. So your calculation for the number of channels you, you require may actually be lower than it would be with a message trunk system. 
primary reason you would invest in a D-type trunking system is that the infrastructure is very, very low cost. It does not require a control channel, so you're not losing one of the channels. And coverage. Coverage really is the big issue. Because you're getting an extra 3 dB, that is a massive improvement in coverage and may mean the difference between one site and a two-site system for many locations. If you would like further information on how the D-type trunking system works and how it fits in with the other trunking systems offered by Kenwood, please visit our website.